Hello everyone, welcome to another Average Angler live match video. Light levels are up and down, sorry about that. I'm on a Tuesday open, Tuesday affordable match. There's about 20 guys on it today, which is quite a good turnout for November, but the weather's mild. As you can see, it's not horrid. The other anglers have got coats, but they're not wrapped up warm. It's nice. Now we've drawn what for me is the dreaded peg nine, but it's a good peg. It's a very good peg on this lake, especially this time of year when the fish start to troll up because they can tend to be in this area. Um, I call it the dreaded peg nine because it's one of the few pegs on this lake that I've just not managed to get any sort of framing positions out of. I can't think of the time when I've drawn this peg and managed to uh, <laughs> it's in, not manage to um, draw anything. Uh, sorry, not draw anything. Uh, win anything from it. So. We'll see if we can break that duck today. So I'm on peg nine, 20 anglers. It's a lovely day, it's not gonna rain. As you can see, the sun's in my face, but that'll move. I've got a few lines set up on the far bank for um, fishing tights. are really crap over, it just drops off like a shell. It's really difficult to fish. I've got lines for the bottom of the slopes to my left and my right against the platforms. I've also found a really nice ledge just out here about 13, 14 meters, which I might have a go for silvers with. So I don't know if I'm gonna get, I'd like to catch silvers today. I came here with the intention of catching silvers, but I suspect I'm gonna have to catch carp if I want to do any good off this peg. It's a size carp, they're not like ones, they're small stuckies from out there. Small stuckies from out the main lake. You may have seen some of my previous videos where I've caught these little fish on the main lake trying to get them out of there. They're, 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 the, they're the fish that have bred in the main lake. I'm just gonna click him as a pound. It might not be a pound, but I'm going to click him as a pound. Don't want to worry about my nets. About 50, net limit's down to about 50 pound at the minute here, and that's not because of any fish issue, well, welfare issues, it's just to help the guys out for the weighing in and that. So that was a nice small stocky cart. I suspect there's going to be a few of those over there, and in the early part of the match, I'm quite happy to just nick these. So I feel like the big car might be later, I'm sure. I've got mine set up short. We've hopefully fished with corn and or pellet. Acorn's known for catching short and catching a few of these. Outside the mouth, but we'll take it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right guys, one hour up there, just over an hour. Got about four, maybe five pound of little, little carps. Um, I've been in and out of different holes over the far bank, nicking odd fish. I've come off them for 10 minutes to try um, my other longs that I've primed, but I can't get bites over those. So I'm back trying again, but it's not the same. It's definitely not the same as it was. Come on, a little carp by the feel of it. And a nice roach or something like that. Some little carpets. So maybe they just want to be on that steep of water. I'll just away from the island a little bit. Oh, the yolk's pulled out of him. I'm not sure if he's a carp. Get him to come to me. Yeah, it's a big carp hooked in the tail. Quite a nice fish, actually. Quite a nice fish, this one. I'll just get this net in the front of him. We can get him in.
missing the sort of stamp that you're looking for there. You know, they're not massive. Sort of two to the pounders, six ounces, maybe a bit more. You really had it needed. So I've just moved the shot around and just started to try and get, catch a few of these fish on the drop. We need to just keep them coming if we can. If it was a tench, it's not easily good copy. Still, lovely, Christine little fit. Fish on a slope that's sleeping towards me, you see. So, where the bait's rolling over the day, so we'll have gone down the slope there. And if they can't, well, my thought was if the carp are coming in and pushing the skimmers off, they might just drop down the slope a little. And sometimes, even if you hook bait slightly off the bottom, these skimmers will just have it hanging.